Hello. Welcome back for another diecast video review. In this episode, we'll be checking out this new tooling from a well-renowned diecast company, and one of my personal favorite at that. The 2021-22 Porsche 911 GT3, in the shark blue colorway, by Minichamp64. And as mentioned, Minichamps is one of my favorite brands for diecasts. A brand owned by Paul's Model Art. As you can see I have some of their models in my collection. Strangely for some reason, Minichamp 64 didn't come out with new models for the past several years. So upon knowing about the new models, that came out sometime in August or September, I definitely had to get them. And as of the release of this video, I believe they have already released other Porsche models with different colorways, as well as collabs with other brands. Good stuff. We'll definitely try and get at least one colorway of each variant. Beginning with the box, obvious changes were made, having a duo color palette, similar to Mini GT, compared to the previous box design where it had full color. It also removed the portrait of someone looking at the model, located on one side of the box. Too bad cause I thought that image was a brilliant idea, marketing wise. They did retain the cutout box sleeve, and the polycarbonate display case. So as we unbox the model, here are a few info on this sports car. Carpe secundum, which means, get the most out of every second. This is the motto of Porsche in developing this sports car. Powered by a 4-liter, 6-cylinder, naturally aspirated engine, it delivers a powerful 510 PS and 470 newton meter of max torque, with a top speed of 320 km per hour. It's good to see that the quality of the display case has not changed. Still looks and feels premium. Stance of the model looks nice. Ground clearance looks good, though here we can see it's a bit propped up because it's still mounted to the base. And here it is, removed from its base, one thing I immediately noticed is the smooth and glossy body paint on this metal diecast. Even at a distance, you'll truly see how even the paint was applied. I also like how they implemented the roof on this model. At first I thought it was just painted on, or a tampo graphic. But it has texture on it. So I'm leaning towards it being a separate part, or cover maybe. But if it's painted, then it's definitely next level. The wheels are probably the next thing that caught my attention. From a distance, it looks really well defined. Though the rims are practically blacked out, the blue lining on the lip, and the silver disc system inside gives the rims the right contrast for it to pop out. A brake caliper would have been nice, but I guess implementing it would sacrifice the role of the model. Previous Mini Champ 64 models roll pretty nicely. Majority from my collection at least, with the exception of one or two. Do these new models roll as nicely as well? Let's check it out. It's really nice to know that they retain the rolling wheels. And rolls smoothly at that. And here's an older release for comparison. The Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet. It rolls just about the same way. They say that the devil is in the details, and the side mirrors on this model is testament to that. It's not the typical just smack one in there. It's accurate and well-made. Front end is pretty simple. It features these air outlets and Porsche badge tampo graphics on the bonnet. Headlights are plastic inserts with some detail visible inside. They seem to have a smoke effect too. Neat. Front apron is precisely molded, evidently seen with the brake cooling grille opening. Moving to the rear end which for me, is the most detailed part of this model. Beginning with the rear wing, it clearly captured the new swan neck connection design of the real car. This is one of Porsche's featured new design to generate more downforce. I really like how clean and sharp the wing is. You'll really appreciate the effort done on this wing. Also, it seems to be attached really firmly. Though I still won't handle this model on this area. Just to be on the safe side. Tail lights and the rear light bar seems to be painted. Nevertheless, it's painted on very precisely. I'm quite impressed on how the tail lights are clearly distinguishable from the turn signals. There's also a tampo graphic of the Porsche name as well as the GT3 badge on the bumper. Not much we can really appreciate with the interior. It's practically blacked out. Only detail we can see is the top part of the dashboard. Base seems to be made of plastic. I think this is why the weight of the model is on the lighter side. 
And there you have it. The Porsche 911 GT3 2021-22 model, shark blue colorway by Mini Champ 64. First off, I'm really glad Mini Champs came back to the 164 scale arena. They've put out a lot of really nice models in the past, which created a lot of followers of the brand, which back then, the hobby grade 164 diecast brands were so few. And what a way to do a comeback, but by releasing the latest Porsche 911 GT3. The tooling done in this model is just excellent. Body work, paint job, and the small details that were done right are the highlights for me on this model. Compared to what Mini GT released, this model seems to be a better build, which is why the price point is almost double that of Mini GT. A bit steep actually. But if you compare it to other brands at a similar price point, somewhere in the hobby grade class, this new release from Mini Champ 64 would definitely make waves in that segment. Definitely for the serious collectors. I mean, I guess Mini Champ 64 has to be at par with their larger scale counterparts. I have to say, this is truly a great addition to the collection. I'm really looking forward to future releases. What do you guys think? Do share your thoughts on the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do hit that like button below, and also consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I'll see you on the next episode. Till then, happy collecting!